Hey guys, I'm Daniel. I'm a freshman here at UC Davis and I'm majoring in managerial economics. Welcome to Davis A to B, where today I'll be taking you guys on a tour from Segunda dorms to the edge of downtown. On the way, we'll stop by a few lecture halls, the Memorial Union, and maybe even the Death Star. Let's go. So let's start with Segundo, one of the dorm areas here on campus. Right now, we're at Segundo Dining Commons. And one thing special that they do is they're open late at night, every night. They offer cookies and other goods like tacos or churros. They're open until 12 every night. So make sure to come by after you exercise or hang out with friends. As we're walking to California, there's actually a lot of different lecture halls that you're gonna encounter on the way. For example, Herring Hall is over there. Read the sign here. Oakland Hall. Herring Hall is actually where I had my first math lecture. And it was pretty cool. The professor was cool, uh, the lecture hall was big, and yeah, the class was manageable. So don't be afraid to take classes that you might not be ready for. You might learn a thing or two. You know what's in Asmundson Hall? No idea. Neither do I. <laughs> so to my left and behind me, we have California Hall, one of the first lecture halls I'm going to show you guys on campus. So as you can see, it's pretty big. But did you know, California Hall is one of the biggest and newest lecture halls here on campus. Man, it's so new, they even got their own coffee shop. Look at that. Okay, hey, uh, can I get a latte, medium size, extra cream and sugar, please? As you can see, it's really new. <sighs> so right now, behind you guys is Kerr Hall, and to my left is Wellman. And Wellman and Kerr are two of my personal favorite buildings here on campus. They have lots of halls, but also a lot of smaller rooms. So you guys will probably have discussion sections here. So that's it. Let's make our way over to the Memorial Union, or as we UC Davis students like to call it, the MU. See that? Oh yeah, by the way, not many people notice this, but there's actually a sign that bans biking in the area. It's actually to prevent bikers from hitting the people that walk through here or even just hang out. Don't you know? You gotta be safe. Oh! See? Don't be that guy, man. Don't be that guy. It's a, don't be like that, guys. So once you cross the street, you're at the MU. So on my right, we have the quad, which is like a giant lawn, like the size of two football fields. A lot of people come here to play sports, like frisbee or spike ball. Other people just come to lounge, you know, look at the ducks, look at the views, or just catch a nap at a whole bunch of the camics here. And you know, to my right, we have the actual Memorial Union, or the MU. The MU is great, you know, they have a whole bunch of different stuff, like restaurants, coffee shops, and a market where you can spend Aggie cash at. My favorite, the coffee house. You know, the coffee house is great. You got coffee and a whole bunch of fresh baked goods, like banana bread or scones. And when I have free time in between my classes, I like to come to the MU, you know, grab some bread, a yerba from the market, maybe sit at one of these outside tables and just chill out. Now that's a Davis vibe. So Davis also has the pantry and the Aggie store in its MU. The pantry is where you can get free food, and the Aggie store is where you can pick up other Davis merch, like clothes, bookmarks, and even school supplies. All right, so now we're approaching the Death Star, officially known as the Social Sciences and Humanities Buildings. Special shout out to my fellow Man Econ majors. This is where we have our advisory office, as well as a few of our prerequisite classes. It's called the Death Star because it looks like a set off a Star Wars film. You'll see why though. Normally to get to downtown, you have to walk down the street, then you have to take a right, and then you have to cross like two more streets. You know what? It's okay, we can just take a shortcut through the Death Star. You won't get lost if you just follow me. Trust. <sighs> oh. Did you know the Death Star is actually designed as a psychology and sociology experiment by researchers? 
It was designed as a psychology experiment to see if people, you know, if people got lost, whether they'd be able to mentally be aware of their surroundings and find their way out. It was also designed as a sociology experiment so that when, not if, but when people got lost, whether they'd ask for help. Anyways, there's no one here to ask for help, so I'm just gonna keep on looking through. Oh, I'm still lost! Ah! Uh, I guess we're still lost. If only the staircase was like, right here or something. Oh, I mean, there it is. Let's go! Well, we made it to the edge of campus and downtown is right there. You know, maybe in another episode, I'll show you guys a tour of Davis and all the good restaurants and boba shops behind me. Well, I hope you guys learned a lot about UC Davis from our video. I just walked from Segundo all the way to downtown, but you guys can probably bike and that will probably be faster too. Anyways, that's all from me, but we'll have our friendly neighborhood resident biker, Jeremiah, take it from here. Bye. <laughs>